We've been hearing about crypto since at least the aughts, and yet most Americans still seem utterly confused by it. People are afraid of crypto. Crypto expert Dan Hollings co-wrote the book One Coin, Two Coin, What Coin? Bitcoin. This is a book that's written for adults, but it makes crypto as easy as child's play. We think crypto is all exotic, but the fact is we've seen this movie before. We're running down what's not new about crypto. For starters, new markets have always been volatile. Crypto has a lot of volatility, and that is because it's a newer industry. In the early 1900s, there were literally hundreds of car companies. Remember the Acme Type 15 touring car? Neither does anyone else because it only came out in 1906. So when you see a bazillion different kinds of crypto and the numbers are all over the place, relax. This is how new technologies take hold. There are times when people are buying it like crazy and there are times that people freak out and they're selling it. But it is really like almost all other markets. And just like those hundreds of car companies winnowed down to the big three, so will crypto sort itself out into recognizable enduring brands. And something in your wallet right now is a lot like crypto. The upgrade from strip to chip on your credit cards. When you do a transaction using Visa or MasterCard, those are currently being settled and transacted over the blockchain. Those old magnetic strips contain the routing numbers for your account. So if it was hacked, thieves had all the info they needed to rip you off. But the credit card chips create an individual token or digital record for every transaction, which then goes into an online ledger. So if you're using a credit card with a chip, in a way, you're kind of already doing crypto and you don't know it. Now, one of the weird things about crypto is that it's supposed to be money, but people seem to be investing in it, not using it to buy stuff. But remember, people invest in currencies all the time. Some crypto, like Bitcoin, is a store of value, which is kind of like gold. And people invest in gold, people invest in Bitcoin with the hopes that it'll go up in value. And people are using crypto to buy stuff, too. There's also crypto, which is used as a utility. This is more like Ethereum. There's insurance, there's medical, there's art, there's music, there's sports, there's tickets. All all of these things that we do every day. Finally, as with any other currency or exchange that's ever existed, remember, investing involves the risk of loss, so? Take baby steps, do everything small. When you have a question, find somebody, a friend or an expert that you trust that you can reach out to and learn more. This isn't about get rich quick. You can even use an age old investment method to get started. People often say, Dan, should I buy Bitcoin now because it's down or should I buy Bitcoin now because it looks like it's going up. If you had $100, you'd be a lot better off to buy $20 this week, $20 next week, $20 the next week, something that's called dollar cost averaging. That's your safest bet, especially in the beginning. Hey, what's new is scary, but later you're going to look back and go, why was I so scared? I mean, this is a lot of fun. The old traits of new money are at the top of the list.